Today we're making movie theater style popcorn. We've been getting a lot of questions about how to use a movie theater style popcorn maker and we have one here. This is one that we purchased from a school concession that was getting rid of this and we got this for really cheap. I think we paid like $75 for this and it works really well. It's old, it has some you know little quirks to it but it still works great. This is actually a six ounce Kernel King and this was made by Slush Puppy. Six ounce kettle and what that means is this this right here, this kettle, is for six ounces of popcorn. And what we're gonna be popping today is actually this all-in-one popcorn kit. This is made by Jolly Time. We got this at our local store. You know, they're very cheap and easy to use. It basically has your butter coconut oil right in here, and it has your popcorn and salt mixtures in here as well. Your salt is actually in the third section right here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the lights on here, and we are going to start to heat up the kettle. So we flip on this switch. It's gonna take about three to four minutes for that to heat up, and once that heats up, we're gonna add our popcorn. All right, so we're heating up here. You can hear that it's spinning. It has an automatic stirrer in it. And these are really great little machines for if you have a movie theater maybe in your house or you maybe have parties outside or that kind of thing. This is great for your house. It's a small enough machine for that. It's like I said, it's a six ounce kettle and the popcorn kit that we purchased they make them in six ounce quantities, which is perfect for a small machine just like this. There'll be some links down in the description below of some other machines like this that you can get. This one is really old, but they're made by lots of different companies out there. You know, you can go out and purchase them very easily. All right, we've been heating up for about three or four minutes now. Now we're gonna add our ingredients to this. So we just flip up this lid. I like to use a scissor here. And I basically just cut this and I squeeze out the butter coconut, that right in there. In there it starts to sizzle a little bit. Get that all in there. And then what we're gonna do is cut the rest of this. You can do it all at once. Sometimes that's easier. And what this actually has in it is Flavacol, popcorn kernels, and that butter. So we have it in there, close up the lid, and we're gonna let it work its magic. It's automatically stirring it. You can see here that it's stirring. We're just gonna let that heat up and it will pop. Now you can see when we purchased this, these doors, they're a little warped. That's because someone left these closed while it was popping. It generates a lot of heat. You wanna make sure that these doors are open and it actually has a warning on here. It says keep doors open when popping corn just because it's too, gets too hot in there and they tend to, to warp, but that's okay. We're gonna be doing a whole series with this machine here because today we're gonna to be doing movie theater butter popcorn, but we're also gonna be making some other flavors with this as well. We're gonna be showing you how you can make caramel corn in this. You can make blue raspberry popcorn. You can just make as many different flavors as you can think of. You can make it in this machine. Um, we actually made kettle corn in here as well. Sometimes we don't wanna get out the big kettle corn machine and we pop kettle corn right in here. You can start to smell that oil heating up. A little bit of steam coming off of there. You can hear it popping now.
what I like to do is turn off the heat and then just give it a little dump. And there we go, we can turn off the motor and we'll take a look at the popcorn there. Oh yeah, it smells really good too. Let's take a quick look at it. Oh yeah. Now this is the butterfly style popcorn. This isn't what we usually use in our kettle. We use the mushroom in our kettle, but this pre-packaged popcorn comes with the butterfly popcorn. When we do the rest of our series, we're gonna be using more mushroom popcorn um, to make lots of different flavors, but let's give it a try. Oh yeah, it's really great. It's salty. It's, it j tastes just like movie theater butter popcorn. It's got that salty, buttery flavor. Really great stuff. You can add additional melted butter on this if you really wanted to, but honestly, it's great just the way it is. So remember, get out there and get popping.